Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to wrap content in the article element. Uh, the article element is a, another new HTML5 element that adds semantic meaning in, to your markup. Article is a sectioning element and is used to wrap independent, self-contained content. The tag works well with blog entries, posts, forum, uh, forum posts, and news articles. Determine whether the whether content can stand alone is usually a judgment call, but there are several simplest tests you can use. Ask yourself if you removed all surrounding context, would the content still make sense? Similarly, for tech or for text, would your content hold up if it were in an RSS feed? So, if it were in an external site, would the article that you're writing right that you're you're wrapping in these texts would that hold up in a separate website? Note about section and div. The section element is also, is also new with HTML5 and has a slightly different se uh, semantic meaning than article. An article is for standalone content and section is for grouping thematically related content. They can be used within each other as needed. For example, if you're if you if a book is an art is if for example, if a book is the article, then each section each chapter is a section. There's when there's no relationship between groups of content, then we want to use div. Div is for grouped content. Section is for groups of related content, and an article is for groups independent, self-contained content. Campercat use article tags to wrap the post on the blog post page. Here we've got article tabs. Here's an article. There's the close close article, and then. Um, but he forgot to use them around the top one. So we want to change the div tag to use an article tag instead. Um, so yeah, this is fairly straightforward. We just want to change this to article. And if we run the test, that should pass. So yeah, this is just about semantic ordering of information. Because we want these to be able to stand independently, each of these individual ideas um, are separate articles, so we're not going to use sections. We're using an article because they could be standalone content on a different site. Anyways, that's how you pass the test. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.